Welcome to The Real South Africa. We are actually being interviewed by Phil Scott on the African Diaspora News Channel about their upcoming trip to South Africa. Check it out. So we're going to, ladies and gentlemen, you know, once again, I'm pretty sure you know who's on the screen. Maybe somebody that's new because we have a lot of new people that have came since um, uh, Mark and Dr. Latasha has been on the show uh, from the real South Africa. They're going to, you know, talk to us today about once again, uh, they have decided gracefully and uh, we, we we appreciate them you know, for doing this. Right. Because I, I, I'll be on with you. I, I was kind of shocked that, that they want to do this again. I'm going to be honest with you because, look, look, Mark, I'm going to be, I'm honest, right? So because okay, okay, some of y'all yeah. that go on some of these trips, y'all get on my nerves. I ain't going to lie with you. So, you know, uh, but, but hey, they want to do it again. Uh, uh, and I'm just saying this up front. If people want to go on these trips, please be uh, happy, cordial, and just want to enjoy yourself. Please. Yeah. But before, I just want to put that out there because y'all, some some people, they just, ooh, don't even get me started. But uh, you know how y'all doing? We are great. We're good. We're, We're good. good. We're good. We're, good. We're, We're so chilling good. in sunny South Africa, even though it's evening here. We're We're good. We're good. How are awesome. you? Awesome. 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 Well, you know, last time I seen y'all was back in March. Yeah. Yeah. You was here with your family. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I, I entrusted them with my whole family. See, it's one thing to, okay, you definitely, well, of course, entrusting them with the subscribers is definitely important to me, but I had my, my grandson, my little girl, my daughters, my wife. I entrusted them and said, look, could y'all put something together for me? So, so this is a first time in South Africa, all of them, they never been. And they did, you know, such a great job at doing that. That's why I say, look, if they call, I, I'm definitely going to respond. That, that's for sure. Um, especially the Lion Park. That they, boy, the Lion Park was cool. <laughs> Lion Park is nice. It's it's probably one of our highlights. Um, and we can talk about the itinerary a little bit more later. But <clears throat> I wanted to include the Lion Park for you specifically because you were bringing your grandson and just the whole interaction, what you get to see at the park, is not like a regular zoo at all. And it's a step, um, it's kind of like being on another mini safari. So yeah. that's why we did that for you. Yeah, because I, I, I done safaris before again, like, eh. but the Lion Park was cool. That that was real cool. So I yeah, it. yeah, I, 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 they, they all enjoyed that. They still talk about that, the Lion Park and uh, we did the ATVs. They, they, you know, out there. They, they, they yeah, really, uh, yeah. They enjoyed the ATVs. So, yeah, my kids had had a great time. So, yeah, if you get y'all, you know, want to take your kids on this trip, please take them. Cause my kids loved it. My daughters actually was trying to see if they could find apartments and stay out there. I mean, <laughs> they, they were really impressed. They were. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I think I think South Africa's tourism mechanism is. Is strong, you know, like you know, part of their GDP is tourism. So they they really want to put on a show, you know, for the people that come. So all we got to do is just basically, you know, partner with everyone, put everything together, so we can offer, you know, those types of things to you and all the other thousands or so people that has came through us since we first started. Yeah, and just just for like say for the new people, like I said, we've had a lot of new people come on since since the last time that you know we have done like an actual tour. You know, just introduce yourself to them because, like I said, they just probably just getting to know you. Okay. Okay. Well, we're um, um, Mark and Latasha Blanton. We're from the U.S. before we, but now we live in Johannesburg, South Africa. Been here for about five years, going on six. And uh, of course, before that, we did a lot of traveling back and forth, like a lot of people are doing now, you know, discovering, you know, South Africa. Um, we lived in the D.C. metro area prior to we have an extensive background ourselves professionally. Um, you know, Dr. Dr. Blanton here is a, <laughs> is a physio or physical therapist. Um, I used to, and we had our company together um, before that. I was I was uh, um, I was U.S. Secret Service. Um, many years for like 10 years and so forth. So we so that's 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 basically who we are. Do you have anything to add, Tasha? Um no, that's who we were. I mean we ran businesses in the US before. Yeah. Um we ran our physical therapy company um and those businesses for about 10 years total. Yeah. Um and then obviously we decided to sell that practices, sell those practices 
and uh, and make our way to South Africa. And we've been here, like he said, now going on six years. Yeah. <clears throat> OK. All right. And, and I always I've told people this. I think you heard me say this in videos that I think that if you're coming from the diaspora and you just need to start getting acclimated to the continent, um, mm -hmm. I've always say Johannesburg is a good place to start um, because some people don't do well with culture shock because, you know, we so acclimated to the Western world. And then yes. you take you take us from the Western world and put us smack dab into an African culture who isn't don't have some elements of that. It can yeah. be culture shock for some people. Correct. I, I can tell you this. We just had a we just had a couple um, that just came in there actually leaving tomorrow, but from Dallas and of course throughout the entire you know country um, and of course other parts of the diaspora as well. They come through us and they they get acclimated you know to South Africa and you know she said to herself, you know what. I feel so comfortable being here. You know, first she was like, I thought my Texas accent was going to get in the way, no. but, it, but it didn't. And so she's like, you know, this place is amazing. You know, you guys put on a really good show for us. You, you, you made sure everything went very well. And, um, but culturally they were, you know, lockstep, you know, happy to be here. Didn't feel, uh, what's the word, uh, unsafe or, 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 you know, had any problems. So they really, to really thanked us profusely for exposing them to South Africa properly. And um, yeah, so now they're ready to go back home mm -hmm. and, you know, start talking to people at home, start having conversations about saying, hey, let's go do some tourism here in South Africa. Yeah. And, you know, last time I went and I'm pretty sure you remember when I called y'all, yeah. when I got to that Marriott, it was just a miscommunication. Yeah. Um, that's all it was miscommunication about, about that room. And he said, yeah, put, put my guy on the phone and, um, uh, you know, he put him on the phone and, and boy, he, <laughs> he, 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 he said, I'm, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get y'all in these rooms. Don't worry about it. You know, yeah. so he, he was on that computer doing his thing, doing his thing. And he said, man, look, I'm bumping them. I'm putting y'all on these. I'm like, boy, yeah. my man. I said, boy, I, I was, I was so excited about that. See, I said, man, that's why I love South Africa, man. No, <laughs> I, said, I feel like white people. You know, you know, they get all these kind of perks in America. We don't get yeah. nothing, right? So, Ooh. so unless you're some freaking celebrity, but you know, yeah. and then even then, you may not get it, right? So I'm like, my yeah. man. So you know, I had to, you know, pa pass him, a, you know, pass him a little love offering because that that was that was beautiful what he yeah. did. You know, he took yeah. care of us. I, I I like I like that sort of thing. And one thing I like about y'all, y'all built a lot of solid relationships, and and I could yeah. I can kind of see that with y'all, maybe versus others who have not did the work to build relationships and got your name on the streets. If you don't, you, you kind of mention your name out there and people are like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know who they are. So I know y'all yeah. took the time to kind of sit down, break bread, you know, shake hands, you know, just, just be respectful with people. So I just seen with my own two eyes that y'all got a you know, good name on the street. And that's always a good thing. Absolutely. And, and then of course we like to, you know, pass that on to our people who come, you know, so when they do get here, they know they're with the real South Africa, and, and and everything works out for them. There are people that come here like I just want to get my hair done, and then somebody says, "Okay, let me call somebody." Somebody shows up, and yeah. they get their they get their braids done or whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Wow, the price was awesome," and so forth. So you know, we do a lot of a lot of a lot of relationship building. It really helps because we live here, and we can always meet with people. We can always invite people to our home where we are now mm -hmm. to just, you know, have these conversations. So when our people do come, it's very easy uh, for them and people are looking out for our guests, Absolutely. particularly, you know, kind of like yourself when you were just talking about having a problem at the front desk. Am I right, Tasha? No, I mean, it's, it's one of the perks, I believe, of being able to um, leverage the relationships that we built for our clients. Yeah. We, understand that because we built those relationships that if they know that you're with us not that they wouldn't go above and beyond in general but because it's us they do more than go above and beyond and um and that makes it that makes a difference when you're in a new country yeah. um whether it's westernized yeah and i have a question did, did they reopen apartheid museum yes it is back yeah Better than okay. ever. Yeah. And, and, and just maybe I was asking this, what is, is, uh, is, would that be part of the tour? It is. On yes. There. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, good, good. Because I didn't even get to go to the apartheid museum because it was closed the first time I went. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I definitely got to get to the apartheid museum. Okay. Yeah, I got to mm-hmm. see it. And I think that'd be important, definitely, for everybody to see that and just see the similarities of what they dealt with. Um, yeah. But even just going to the Hector Peterson Museum, and seeing some of those things, right? Uh, yeah. You know, it was just, it was just, just, just crazy. You know, it's like so, so similar, and seeing children go out there and, and fight. You know, and like against grown people who you know who would just this is being evil you know what i'm saying that's not, i can't describe it no, no more than that um yeah. yo, on, on on top on top of that um because a lot of many because maybe some people have never you know like i said they knew they never you know kind of seen you know how y'all do tours i'm just letting them know let y'all know up front they do it with a lot of excellence it's uh nice things and i've seen the price that y'all y'all have on this tour and yeah. based on the amount of days it's very it's very fair in my opinion it's, it's not like oh, oh my yeah. god it's too expensive Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, for what you're getting, you know, a lot of people, you know, I, I know there are other people, you know, doing their tours and, and whatnot, and they may not offer all the stuff that we offer. So they might think that our tours are no, no different than their tours, but we offer a lot of, you know, as far as in, in the way of service, you know, what you get, we, you know, everything is up, up we, what we call it up market here in South Africa, but everything is upscale, you know, up in the five star level. Everything is proper as as I I, I get kidded because I say that a lot oh because everything is has to be proper <laughs> because you guys are coming too far, you know, to get shortchanged on 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 anything. So we make sure the food that people eat is 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 great food, you know, places that you would want to eat, you know, stuff like that. We really do take a lot of time and a lot of effort. And then of course, you know, it's not including all the little meetings we have with people to make sure that everything is in order uh, and, and so forth. So um, it's well thought out is by the time most people come, I know the last tour we did, people were extremely happy. Um, they were, they, you know, they reached back to us and said, thank you for that type of trip. We've had people on that, that has been here before with other uh, groups or by themselves, but then they decide to come with the real South Africa and they're like, wow, I didn't know this existed. This is nice. Thank you. I so. think the other thing, too, I'm just going to add to what he's talking about, Phil, um, because we use, as he says, proper, proper guides, proper transportation. It's not a situation where you have to wonder about anything. When we say everything's taken care of for you, we really do mean that there may be a couple of meals you may have to pay for, but yeah. your variety of, of, of options to choose from as far as like eating is concerned you're going to be happy with that. So just having things in place for you, like drivers at a certain time, yeah. knowing where you're going, knowing what time you're going to be picked up, all those things actually make it easy for you to actually enjoy the country, relax, take the culture in, enjoy the people. And that's why we do things the way that we do things. So yes, I appreciate you saying the price is fair because the intangibles are the things that are going to add value that you won't actually know until you actually get here and experience it for yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of work goes into putting those, those tours together and just trying to, you know, just even just just even that's why I was like, hey, look, y- y'all could y'all put something together for me. I don't have time. You know, it, it was too much easier to do it like that. And then like you talk about the food. Look, this real talk. We all real gained talk. weight on that trip. All of us. No all of us. We was go that food is so good over there, y'all. I'm telling you, because even the fruits are better. Like, like, you know, even if you buy so-called organic fruits in America. It is yeah. not the same versus eating a banana over here versus a banana over there or apple over there versus an apple here. It's totally different. Like just a fruit by itself. You you know what I'm saying? Just from my experience. But yeah, we went, Mark, and sh- we was eating too much. And should yeah. we come back out and gain 10 pounds? That, that's why I was like, oh, Lord, no. And shoot, that's when I got hardcore with my dad and had to drop 40 pounds after that trip. But shoot, you yeah. know, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, that, that food was good. That food was real good. Y'all got nice gyms over there. They had a gym, a, a gym right by the hotel. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I was about to go in there, but, you know, we had to go. But, yeah, they, they, they had nice gyms over there. In case some of y'all say, I want to keep up my workouts while I'm there. You know, y'all yeah. have so many different things. Or you want to run outside or, well, sometimes my wife was just running outside up the hills, you know, right right out there by the hotel. So, you know, you just have all those, you know, I mean, if they don't put you in a bad place or situation because, you know, I don't do that either, especially with my family. Oh, no, no, no. Of course, of course. But yeah, you, yeah, you're right. We don't put people in bad place. We put people where you, where I would want to be, you know, where I would bring my family somewhere nice, 
um, you know, somewhere where you could just, you know, walk out and, and, and enjoy the amenities in the area. You're going to be around other, you know, other South Africans. Um, a lot of people ultimately meet South Africans because as soon as, you know, you start talking, they're going to say, oh, well, you from America. And they, they're excited to meet you. They always probably wanted to meet an American. They see them in, they see them on TV all the time and, and they never see them in real life. So they, you know, obviously they want to, you know, they all have their American, you know, dream of going to America. But if you come here and they meet you, they're going to want to speak to you. And then that's when you get a chance, another chance, you know, that things that we can't, you know, put on the itinerary that you're going to meet people, you know, local people that you could possibly you know, stay in contact with the rest of your life. It, it, it really, it really ends like that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You de definitely can make some, uh, uh, great, great contacts with people. It's good to make contacts with people, get lock, lock in with them on WhatsApp and, and yeah. say, yeah, when I get back out there, I'm, I'm a high ledger, you know, and, and, and all of that. So, um, but, you, but like I say, y'all don't realize like well, how much goes into that, into the tour business. Like I say, God bless y'all and elders who do it because, I could do it. Oh Lord, no, I couldn't do it. But this is the deal. Let's say some people, you know, want to go and they they like it. They want to get acclimated. Um, for instance, I saw like that time we asked we asked about that cake uh, for my grandson. It was my grandson's birthday, so he, so you're talking about oh, the yeah. cake. So so for instance, I saw <laughs> yeah we saw a, a a big opportunity. I told my wife, I said, look, when you when you finish. This brick and mortar here, you need to go establish one over there, big time, right? So, so now, in, I know in some other countries, you need a citizen from that country to be a part of that business. From what I heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. you can create a business in South Africa and don't need a South African citizen on there. Yeah, for the most part, you can. It all, it all depends on the. From what I understand, because I'm, you know, I'm still, you know, learning. It all depends on the size of the business and 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 so forth. Um, but if you want to, if you want to start your, your own business, you can, um, another thing too, which you could do, you can actually have your business registered in the U S but then you can operate here in, in South Africa as well. You just would have to um, register with SARS, uh, it was just South African revenue service. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so because, because you're going to be collecting what they call a value added tax or VAT. Um, you know, from whoever you're doing business with, and then they're going to want you to pay that VAT to to South Africa. So at that point, uh, how can I say it? Um, you know, that's that's they, that's what they they do. But as far as you know, scaling up, I'm not really you know familiar with that part. But as far as as far as starting a business, the best thing to do is like when you're here and you, whatever you're trying to do, just start talking to people. I mean, everybody's pretty, pretty connected together because they're on like one or two degrees of separation between the guy at the top and, and at the bottom. So for information, you just start talking to people. They'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you're an American, so they mm -hmm. want you here. You're black and, you know, they want to work with you for the most part. They want to work with you. So you're going to have to, you know, maybe put your resume down and yeah. just just start having conversations, start talking. And once you start talking, You'll be surprised how many people um, come out of the woodworks to say, hey, we got this brother from the U.S. He's he's trying to do X, Y and Z. You know, how can you know, how can we help? And then that's basically how it works. That's that's what I've seen. Yeah. And, and, and what I've always told the audience is, you know, I'm more so on the guys of just knowing the, the dynamics on the continent itself. It's mm -hmm. better to go there and bring jobs, create jobs there. Um, than more so trying to look for a job. Um, I think you'll be more successful and people would appreciate you, you know, a lot more because you bring yourself to the table. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like us, we, you know, we bring, you know, it's, it's so many things that happen. Like, for example, that your tour, um, a lot of people are going to get, are going to be working. We're going to need extra this, extra that. Some of the vendors that we're going to um, use will bring in extra people. Um, you know, you guys, a lot of people are going to you know, drop tips and so forth. Um, the people who are taking care of the rooms, mm -hmm. the wait staff, the people that are behind the desk. I mean, all these things are plussed up when we bring in, we, we bring in groups. So it really, it really, it, you know, like I said, you, people are working, people are going to be working. So that's why we, with our company, we are consistently and constantly bringing people mm -hmm. to South Africa. I mean, we constantly got people, um, 
coming in. I mean, we just don't do it in a group. We do individuals. We got families. It could be a, you know, eight people say, hey, I want to explore South Africa. And they come and we sort all that out for them. And, and um, I mean, unfortunately, that that's money that pumped into the economy and it, and it goes into the tourism you know, space because tourism is one of the biggest economic drivers here. I mean, I can't stress that enough. And that's why I'm like, you know, if we're going to make a difference here and, you know, here in South Africa, particularly, you know, if we can if we can spend money here in South Africa uh, as tourists, I mean, that will go a long way. And they notice these types of things because they actually count this stuff when you come in through the gate. They do. They count it. They're like, okay, people are coming. There are more people coming. And then now that more people coming, they know that we're spending we're we're spending money. So I mean, there's in the in the in the in the aspect of rands, I mean your your tour alone is probably going to generate, and this is money that we can't count, meaning that tips and people yeah. purchasing things, because people are going to purchase things. Uh, if it's nothing less than just uh, some souvenirs, I mean, it's going to be you know millions of rands that that just from your trip alone that's going to be generated, and, and and a lot of those rands are going to go to people who are working. Um, in these positions who probably wasn't working before, mm -hmm. you know, the trip. But what happens is like, for example, we, your trip is in April of 2024. Mm -hmm. The people that we're working with, they know, and they're going to, they're going to be prepared. They're going to be prepared for what we need. Yeah. So, and, and, and you believe it or not, like even, you know, like, cause I just enjoy doing this, but you know, like you, you have a great waiter, waitress, um, yeah. you know, tipping them. Right. Because it's like, cause I learned something new about South Africa that I did not know. But uh -huh. you know, like we went to the signature restaurant you guys yeah. told us about, and the mm -hmm. one sister from Zimbabwe I talked to, she she did such a great job. And yeah. what I ended up doing was giving her like a hundred dollars U.S. tip because the sister did yeah, such a great yeah. job. Yeah. You know, she you know she was just you know she told me her story like why she came from Zimbabwe, and yeah. I tell people all the time when they, you know even you know some of our South African brothers and sisters that watch. Is that the reason why people are coming is because of the sanctions that the Western powers put on Zimbabwe. Robin Mugabe has been gone. For, he's been gone now. You know what I'm saying? And you still have the sanctions on them. So it makes it hard. It's like over here, the Venezuelans are coming up here because of the sanctions of the U.S. Right. Yeah. Same thing. So the sister telling me her her situation and, you know, I gave, gave him the, 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 the tip. And, you know, I, don't, you know, I mean, I'm not thinking nothing of it, but they all were just making a big deal about it. Cause I think it ended yeah. up being like about 1800 Rand and they were yeah. just like looking and pointing and, and all that. Like every time we would give, you know, something, we, you know, we would give $25. We'd kind of tip the same like in America. So we'll give you 25, $40, like whatever. And anywhere we went, boy, they was happy. They was happy yeah. with that, you know? But the so, thing is, when you mm -hmm. do that, mm -hmm. when you do that, Phil, we appreciate it because it's going directly into their hands and they can make use of that immediately. So you're helping out whole families, and whether you know it or not, you're you're really injecting money into the economy. Yeah. Yeah, but one thing I did learn, at least I think about signature, or maybe it's like that all over. That when you put it on a credit card, it's like mm -hmm. they get paid with the beginning of the month or the end of the month. And end of month, yeah, they call it end okay. of month. Okay, and, and then they have to spread it out to everybody. Yeah, everybody who's working, they take all the tips, like whatever was was um, captured in tips. And then if they're, let's say it's, it's 30 weight staff, they take all that money and then they have to divide it equally. So that's why sometimes it's just best just to, if you know, if we can. And we do tell our tourists, hey, if you can go to the ATM, you know, get money out the ATM, you know, which you can. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then, of course, you get the best exchange rate because you, you're going to ATM versus going to those places where you exchange money. Um, you know, they did they, they give you a depressed number. I win, you, I win with them places though. Okay, I win How's every that? time. How the them exchange places, I win all the time because what they tell me, I like that's not the exchange rate, the exchange rate is this. So they uh, have to come up well, every time with me. I'm like, okay, well, don't worry about it, I'll leave. You know, like, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it don't matter what country I've been to, I don't play with them because I already know what the exchange rate is before I even get up there. See, I think a lot of people don't know what the rate is before they get up there. So they kind of just yeah, take whatever they give them. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, and, and I've seen people get, you know, get, you know, they 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 tell us, yeah, I went and, and I exchanged this much money and I got this. What do you think? And I'm like, you could have went to the ATM and got a, and, and got the exchange rate 
mm-hmm. um, and you know, and had that money in your hand to to you know to spend. Um, but yeah, but we generally like to just you know tell our people so they can you know give proper tips. You know, like for example, a hundred rands. A hundred rands is a good tip. Mm-hmm. Hundred rands is roughly about four and a half, almost five U.S. dollars. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and for us, that's not a lot of money um, as far as you know tipping. But I mean, that's a good tip. I mean, that's 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 pretty good. And of course, you can always you know add up on that. It all depend on you know how you feel your service was. And if you feel like your service is good, you're probably going to give you know based off what you order you know 200 maybe even 300 rand or you can do percentages to 10 15 20 percent we always say just go with what your heart tells yeah. you to do if they do a good job already add something to it like just just give them a good tip because they really are service oriented and they and they deserve it they do they do yeah and they, like i said they, they they always be so nice so we was talking about that me and my wife the other day how they were just so nice, you know, nobody was mean, rolling their eyes or the food was good. So we just commit to that, that whatever we give here in the U.S., we're giving, you know, anywhere we go. So that means it benefits them. So now what I know is that, okay, the cash I'm going to take out is going to be more so just for the tipping. But, you know, uh, like like y'all had told me that time, no, just you you can use your your credit card, whatever else, but just, just when it comes to tipping, just, you know, and that's a good thing because some African countries, you can't be swiping your card like that. Uh, in South Africa, you can. Yeah, of course, of course, no problem. Just no minus problem. American Express a lot of times. Just letting y'all know yeah, that yeah. your Phoenix numbers. Yes. Well, the fees for you, uh, American Express is pretty high on the as a merchant, so they won't they won't accept it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's let's get to that itinerary, uh, uh, Doctor Latasha. Since 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 you had mentioned that earlier, let's walk us through it. What are they going to experience? Oh goodness, uh, that's that's a lot. Um, let's see. What are they flying out of? Let's start there. Atlanta or Newark? Uh, Atlanta. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I love that that flight. Is that the is that the Delta flight? It is. Yeah, the Delta. Delta the, yeah, right into Joe. Oh, that's that's beautiful, beautiful. Because last time I went, I went to the Sky Club and hung out for a little while, and then I got to get on the flight. Big time. <laughs> oh, gosh. hey man, the uh, the Delta Sky Club is nice. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for those that don't know, he just told you the Delta Sky Club is nice. Um, so, you know, I like to tell people that all of our services include, obviously, upscale transportation. So, obviously, your flight's going to be included. So, it will be an economy flight um, from Atlanta to Johannesburg. It will be a direct flight. Um, because this trip includes Durban, the domestic flight from Johannesburg to Durban and Durban back to Johannesburg will be included as well. Um, you're going to get, uh, say, at a boutique hotel, a uh, four or five star hotel. You're going to get breakfast yep. every day. Um, most of your tours are going to have lunch included. If not, that will be noted on the itinerary. It's going to be some upscale dinners included. Um, when you get to Durban, there'll be beach access. So that's going to be nice. Yeah. Um, and then when we just kind of, I'm not going to go day by day because I think that that would be a little convoluted. Yeah, but they will be going to Soweto. But they are going to yeah, go to Soweto, which is very nice. the apartheid museum, and they'll get to go to lunch at one of the few black owned restaurants that's in Soweto. But she's a Soweto native and she moved way and came back and she has a beautiful restaurant that you guys are going to enjoy rooftop access beautiful view all the things that south africa offers um there uh and let's see what else do we have on here for you guys there's going to be a safari obviously we have to do a safari um it's it's a ha- it's a full day so you'll go out there you'll have lunch you'll do a safari in the morning and then you'll do a couple other hours drive at the end and then you come back and relax um that night after that for those of you that like shopping yeah. there will be some shopping included i'll give specific instructions for those that want to shop because what you want to make sure you do is keep all your receipts and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to the trip as to like why you need to keep your receipts because mark mentioned value added tax and as a non-citizen um of south africa they give you the value added tax back to you and your currency when you leave if you've done any shopping it, it does exclude food but most people like to buy cute souvenirs clothes those types yeah. of things you can't get that stuff Phil, now Phil, you went shopping when you was here right you did a lot oh, of yeah shopping. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. My I wife wasn't. bought some, some heels and, oh, yeah, she bought a lot of stuff. Excellent, excellent. Um, and then we're going to have to visit the most famous 
and the richest square mile in all of Africa, Sandton City. So we're gonna go to Sandton City, you're gonna go to some Mandela Square, which has the big statue of Mandela that everyone likes to take pictures of. You'll get to go there. And then we're gonna enjoy some nice cocktails on another rooftop bar um, before you guys head out, um, head out for that evening. So that will be most of what's gonna happen in Johannesburg. And then in Durban, it gets to be a little bit more restful more shoppings included um which will have the option to do those two different places you guys yeah. can go to for that um you're going to go on a discovery but that, but that the shopping experience oh, okay. at, at the oceans mall it's a brand new mall mm -hmm. um mm. they got they got a whole new diamond walk area it's called platinum walk it's called platinum walk yeah. this place is yeah. it's pretty nice and then you'll be able to you know shop and then of course if you want up market stuff Things are there. And then, of course, they got, you know, restaurants down there. Really nice restaurants. Lots of restaurants. Yeah, some of my favorite restaurants. And then, of course, you know, Signatures opened up a restaurant in Durban. It's fairly new. Oh, really? To, yeah, we went to the premiere, and it's, and it's, and it's top notch, as, as, as we, you would expect. Yeah, Sign Sign Signature got some good food. Yeah, they, <laughs> they got some good food. And then um, what else, Tasha? Um, you're going to get to do a uh, what we call a Discover Durban tour. And that pretty much takes you to all of the highlights in Durban, things that you want to know. So you'll get to go see all of that. And then there will be a boat cruise and a um, Zulu experience, which is mandatory because you're going to be in basically Zulu land and KwaZulu Natal. So that's a, um, a must. And then after that, you will get a chance to have some a day where you do nothing, where you can actually leave your hotel and walk straight down to the beach. So I have to give you a beach day. It would be so wrong of me not to give you a day at the beach, especially when you're going to be right off the Indian Ocean with that warm breeze when you guys are coming. So um, you'll have a nice down day. Those of them, those people that want to continue to go shopping, they'll have the option on that day as well. And then, of course, you guys will have to leave the following day. So. Yeah. yeah, and I and I'm warning y'all ahead of time uh, with their tours. Um, you will be tired in the evening. You're not going to do nothing to sleep. I'm warning y'all. If, if yeah. uh, you know, take, take you, take you, drink you, eat your Wheaties or whatever you got to do in the morning, but you won't be tired. Because I mean, even my family, they're like, "Oh Lord, we need a day to sleep. We just just <laughs> here, there, here, there, here." there. <laughs> they had a good you know, time. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all going, y'all going to be tired. Trust me. I think it's funny that you say that because, you know, we've been doing this for quite some time now. And the way our tours are set up, it's like a little bit in the morning, rest in the afternoon. And we have people that are like, no, I don't want to rest. I want to hit the ground running. I'm like, I'm trying. I promise you by day three, you're going to sleep. You're going to sleep late. And you're going to miss your next tour. Like, mm -hmm. just trust me when I tell you, you're going to need at least a half day up to two days to acclimate. And we put those uh, stop gaps in place for like, if we can't give you a full two days to rest, I'm going to have you do an activity and then let you rest because I understand and know because of the, as long as we've been doing this, you're going to need that time. So thank you for saying that, um, that you will need that time to rest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It don't matter how much energy you got, how much coffee you drink, you go, <laughs> you're going to need that one day. When we got to Cape town, you're like, okay, you know, we we we, we want to chill. This we want to chill for a minute. We we good, man. You know, we good. But the weather, okay, because I know what the weather is in Cape Town, so I've been mm -hmm. twice. But how's the weather in Durban? Is it? Because I heard Durban is like what the like almost like more so like a Miami from what I heard. Yeah, the the uh, it's a little bit more humid and, and it's very noticeable because it's super dry in in Johannesburg. So we're here all the time. So mm -hmm. from time to time, probably more times than not, we go to Durban. You know, obviously, to me, Durban is my, is my second favorite city, but that's just my choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's hers as well. So we like we like going to Durban for all that it offers uh, and whatnot. And one of them is it is the weather is absolutely amazing. It's a little bit more humid. It's, it's probably not Texas humid, but it's up there. It, it gets it gets pretty humid here um, in, in Durban. But again, you get a nice breeze coming off that ocean I mean that that Indian Ocean. Um, it, 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 it's, it's an equalizer. I, I can say that uh, and so forth. So even when it's, you know, in, in Fahrenheit, 90, 95 degrees, um, it doesn't it doesn't feel that bad simply because 
Um, first of all, there's vendors everywhere that you can always get, a, as we like to say, a cool drink. Mm -hmm. But then, like I said, there's always some levels of a breeze coming through. So it, it works out. It works out very well. And then at night, it cools down pretty nicely. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really good. So we you know we love it. I, well, I is, is, the, is, the, is the water still cold around that time? No, April, no. No, I mean, and because it's the Indian Ocean, it's never going to feel like the Atlantic. So cold yeah, is okay. going to be because in Cape Town, we went in March, the water was still cold. No, the water's always cold in Cape Town. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. cold. it's cold. Yeah, okay. it's cold it's a lot cold. down there. But at the, in, in, in Durban, it, it, it warms up a little bit. You can actually get in the water as if you was on the East Coast or maybe in the Gulf Coast uh, where you are now. We were there in, um, in August, which is basically the end of our winter. And there were people in the water in August. Because yeah. it because it is warmer and that's our winter and they were in the water in, in August. All right, all right. That that that's that sounds good. Like I said, we had some things that maybe was shut down that one day, you know, they the EFF had a protest and all that yeah. national day. That that was yeah. interesting that day. I said, Boy, we here when they have a protest. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I support it. I support it. Fight for your rights. But um, um, outside of that, has everything gotten better with low shedding? Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah, it's actually has. They I guess they decided to you know I mean they decided they've been suspending a lot of of the of the low shedding. Uh, the only thing I can say that's really came positive about it is that a lot of people have invested in solar, um, mm. solar uh, and, and backup systems. So a lot of people there's less people on the on the grid and. I think a lot of people don't realize that, uh, you know, South Africa is growing so fast that, I mean, everybody's plugging into it, you know, so the, the grid can't, you know, can't keep up, but they are, are, are making a way to, to get it all sorted out. But yes, it's, it's gotten much, 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 much better. Yes. Yeah, because uh, even, even one girl, shout out to sister one girl, she's saying Kenya, you know, where she, at least where she lives, she don't get a warning on the app. Say, hey, from this time to this time, it's going to be down. So at least if they gave me that, say, that warning, then I could do what I need to do. I'm cool. Then it goes back. And that's how it was. I think when we went to uh, Cape Town, you know, you go to that ESCOM that app. They tell you exactly yeah. what stage, how long, was an hour, or hour and a half. It wasn't too long. But, you know, while yeah. I was staying there, I had, they had solar. So I just flipped, flipped the switch. But, um, yeah, that was cool. And it came right back like they said it did it, to the minute. Came right back yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually it's it's well if you have to have it, you know, low shedding or something to that effect is it's managed you know very well, um, even if something changes because sometimes let's say for example they might say you know stays too low shedding, and then you might have two hours during the day, but if things get better you know during that day they will downgrade it to a one, mm -hmm. real quick and say hey instead of two hours we're gonna do one hour. Uh, and so forth. So it's 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 gotten really you know good for us. Particularly, we've noticed so many people that have just said, you know what, let me let me get solar panels on the, on my house. Mm -hmm. um, and and you know it's not as regulated as from what I understand the state says. But people are are, are are rocking with with solar panels, and I think people are liking that better because obviously your your bill is a lot lower. And, um, and of course, then you can control yep. how much how much power you want by just buying, you know, buying these lithium batteries like we have. We have lithium batteries. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so it works. Yes, yeah, that's, that's that's that sounds good. But like, like I say, you know, South Africa is definitely one of the places I want to get my first property outside the United States. I already said that I've seen some spots, um, yes. you know, whether it's a home from, for just for us. Or just I saw some you know condos for sale to Leonardo like shoot you know it yeah, just yeah. You have those there yeah 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 because I, I like I, I when I went to that Leonardo and saw some of them condos the guys showed me and said okay I got to get one of these I say because I know I can make a bag off of this <laughs> mm -hmm. we, yeah I did Santon Santon is, is nice but if you expect American prices in Santon I'm letting y'all know that don't don't <laughs> think that. oh I'm just in South Africa I'm gonna save money now in Santon you're not mm -mm. yeah but... this is a different ball game. It is Santa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really is. But uh, but 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 Mark, tell people you're like, okay, they they now they hear it. Okay, how how can they get the information? How can they sign up? Okay, it's very simple. A lot of people have already, believe it or not, have reached out to us. They sent oh, really? Us off the postings. 
just off just off of that, um, um, just so all they have to do is just hit us up at info at the real South Africa.com, just expressing, you know, your you know, concern about coming on this trip with uh, with you. And then once they do that, then we will reply with all the information that they need uh, and so forth. And then how they can go ahead and book the, the trip. And then, of course, we got payment plans, you know, um, you know, for the trip and whatnot. So we'll let them know what the deposit is and then what they have to pay in installments, um, you know, to get on the trip. And that's pretty much it. But once they put their deposit down um, they're, you know, they can go ahead and count themselves on the trip and then they can, you know, enjoy Johannesburg and Durban on this one. Yes. And definitely serious inquiries only. If you put a deposit down, then you're going to go if, if, cause you know, I just want to make sure we, we, we put this out here, serious inquiries yeah. only because I don't need people to pay for a tour and call Mark and say, Hey, I want my refund back. But Mark got contingency plans for everything. So I don't worry about him. <laughs> right, right. Deposits are non-refundable anyway. So yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 there you go, because boy, you know, I've seen people try to do that, and and and, and it's it don't no no no. So just we just want people to go and have a good time, right? It's payment right, plans. Right. Think it's a good time to start now because you got exactly. you got some time, right? You can ask for time off from work. Um, you know, I always say take your kids. Please take your kids. It's nothing mm -hmm. like having your kids have a, that kind of experience. I'm just telling you as a parent. Yeah. Take your kids, you know. Well, even your grown kids. I took my daughters, which are grown, right? And, and mm -hmm. I still laugh at the 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 little video I got of my daughter, uh, her and the ostrich getting into it. It was kind of funny, uh, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, the ostrich didn't attack her, but you know, he he was all coming next to her because he it took something out of her hand. It was funny. She was like she was trying to ball up her fist at him, whatever. It was funny. Um, but experiences like that you'll never forget with your family, um, and that just makes it all worth it. So make sure you. Go to the um, the email and let them know, hey, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to put yeah. my deposit down for me and the whole family, grandma, yeah. cousin, and my <laughs> mammy and everybody. Yeah. No, but it, 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 it should fill up because, like I said, I'm. Uh, I, you just put the posting out and uh, we haven't even put this video out. And, and and we've gotten several people that are, you know, expressing interest. Obviously, everybody won't come, but a good number of those will come. And then as time go on. But like I said, I know I can tell the people that the people that came last time, they had a really good time, um, you know, in all reports that that we've gotten in. And, and a lot of them had never been to Africa. And just like like you said earlier, this was a great landing spot um, to come. And so they really appreciate the fact that we did that. And then, of course, you know, we had a nice little reception. Everybody came through. You came through. You, you, know, you met everybody. You talk with, you know, talk with everybody. They got a chance to, you know, you know, see the creator of you know, the African diaspora news channel and the whole nine. So it was, it was, it was a good event. It was a great event when we really appreciate having the, having the opportunity to, to, to put that together properly. And there'll be some surprises too. I can't give everything away. <laughs> but there'll be some, there'll be some surprises. There'll be some surprises. Believe her when she say it, folks, believe her. Like don't, <laughs> don't just take it lightly what she's just telling you. I'm telling you just from experience. Just believe what she's telling you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if definitely. Has definitely. If anybody well, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited for all y'all. You know, let, let's go ahead on and try to get this this tour sold out in a month. You know, let's try to get that done. You know, get them deposits in. You can yeah. pay your payment plans. You know, don't don't twill your thumb. How many y'all write me? When's the next tour? Well, do it now. You know, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is like the next Joe tour. Biden. Do it now, right? Yeah. Um, but get get acclimated, get signed in, and all payments go to them. Don't ask me about money. I don't know about deposits. It's through them. <laughs> Y'all know yep. that ahead of time. Yep, that's what we do. And then, and at the same time too, we um you know just wanted to try to you know plug this in. We do uh, you know have a joint venture with this uh, with the African uh, Pride Store dot com, African Pride Store dot com. So. You know, obviously you go to you go to Africa. So, you know, we need to start showing our pride and start wearing the shirts that show, you know, the you know, the country that we represent. So if we're looking at, you know, hey, I've, I've been to Ghana. I like Ghana. Then you can go to the African Pride Store dot com and get that as well. Uh, if you if you you like Tanzania, you can you can you can get a shirt to represent that, you know, wherever you you know, you live. And, um, you know, it's a it's a good joint venture for us. And uh, so I think that. That's something that people would be interested in if they just go to 
to the AfricanPrideStore.com, they will be shocked at what they see. And then they can start walking around and, and being prideful of being, you know, either going to Africa or being African. All right. Definitely. Thank you all for joining us today and giving this information. We make sure to put that uh, link down there at the uh, bottom down there with the email. Please email yeah. today. Get your deposits in. Um, what what are we looking like? Uh, the deposits amount on, on on that is it is it uh what is it ten percent or or what are we looking like on deposit? Twenty percent. Yeah, it's yeah, so gonna be twenty percent of the of the uh, of the total cost. Okay, twenty yeah. percent. All right, yeah. but like I said, y'all gonna get way more than what you paid for. I'm telling you, especially being what ten days, correct? Yep, ten days. Yeah, ten days. Yeah, ten days. Yeah, definitely. It's it's, it's go it's gonna be good, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, thank you, you know, Mark and Dr. Latasha for, you know, being up late with us. This, you know, this is a little late for y'all over there in South Africa. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to see y'all, you know, happy people, you know, once again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.